Question number 1 of Probability Exercise 16.1 of NCERT Maths Textbook. Hello, friends. The question is like this in each of the following. Describe the sample space for the indicated experiment. The given experiment is. The coin is tossed three times. And for this experiment we have to calculate the sample space. We shall solve this question by two method. First by tree diagram method. And second by table method. So, we shall begin with tree diagram method. In tree diagram method we represent the events of an experiment like a branches coming out from tree. When the coin is tossed for the first time, then it can give us head or a tail, right? This event can be represented as two branches. Now, H represents event of getting head in first toss, and T represents event of getting tail in first toss. Further, if the coin is tossed for second, time then the second toss will give us head or tail. The events that we result after the second toss will be head head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. These events are shown by four branches. Similarly if the coin is tossed for third time, then the third toss will also give head or tail the events that will result after the third toss can be represented by drawing branches as head 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 tail head tail head head tail 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 head head tail head tail 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 head and tail 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 the sample space can be written as set s as shown and the total number of events or cases in the sample space is equals to 8. It should be noted that in the sample space S each event represents an ordered triplet. Like the event HHH can be represented as ordered triplet as shown. It is for the sake of convenience we have not written brackets and commas. Now we shall write the sample space by table method. For this we made the table in which the first column represents the outcome of first toss. Similarly second column represents the outcome of second toss. And third column represents the outcome of third toss. The idea here is to fill the column with outcomes in such a manner that out possible events are obtained. In other words, sample space is obtained. To begin with we say that if first toss results in head, then the second toss can be head and the third toss can be head. Again if first toss results in head, then second toss can be head and third toss can be tail. Again if first toss results in head, then second toss can be tail and third toss can be head. Again if first toss results in head, then second toss can be tail and third toss can be tail. This gives the total possible outcomes when the first toss is head further we can say that if first toss results in tail, then the second toss can be head and the third toss can be head. Again if first toss results in tail, then second toss can be head and third toss can be tail. Again if first toss results in tail, then second toss can be tail and third toss can be head. Again if first toss results in tail, then second toss can be tail and third toss can be tail. That is all three are tails. This gives the total possible outcomes when the A coin is tossed three times. 
the sample space can be written as set S as shown, and the total number of events or cases in the sample space is equals to 8, which is the required answer. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update, subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels, HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.